Welcome back to Fitness Food Recipes. In this video, we're discussing the eight early signs of arthritis you should never ignore. Arthritis. You've probably heard the term before, but do you really know what it is? This isn't just one condition, but a collection of over 100 different joint-related conditions that affect over 58.5 million Americans. That's a number too large to ignore. The types of arthritis are numerous, but the most common ones we encounter are inflammatory arthritis, like rheumatoid arthritis, and degenerative osteoarthritis. Inflammatory arthritis is an autoimmune disorder where your immune system mistakenly attacks your joints. On the other hand, degenerative osteoarthritis is a wear and tear condition where your cartilage wears down over time. These conditions, among others, fall under the broad umbrella we call arthritis. And these statistics aren't just random numbers, they are sourced from the trusted Arthritis Foundation. Arthritis is more than just an inconvenience. It can greatly impact the quality of life, making simple tasks a challenge. It's a leading cause of disability in the US, and the risk of developing arthritis increases as we age. This isn't something that only affects the elderly, it can start to show signs in adults as young as in their 30s or even 20s. Now why should you care about arthritis? Because awareness is the first step to prevention, and early intervention can make a world of difference. In our discussion today we're focusing on the early signs of arthritis signs that you should never ignore. So now that we've set the stage, let's dive into the early signs you should be aware of. Keep in mind, knowledge is power, and the more you know, the better equipped you are to maintain your health and well-being. Before we go any further, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. The number one early sign of arthritis is joint pain. This isn't just your average discomfort, but a persistent ache that lingers in your joints. It's a pain that sticks around, that doesn't seem to go away with rest or over-the-counter pain relievers. Arthritis is a complex condition affecting over 58.5 million Americans and comes in over a hundred different forms. The most common types being inflammatory arthritis such as rheumatoid arthritis and degenerative osteoarthritis. Joint pain as a symptom can vary greatly from person to person. Some might feel a dull, throbbing sensation, while others may experience sharp stabbing pains. The duration of the pain can also fluctuously range. It could last a few hours, or it might persist for days. It's important to note that arthritis-related joint pain is often worse in the morning or after a period of inactivity. But don't mistake this for normal aging pains or the occasional aches from overexertion. Arthritis pain is distinct, it's persistent, and it affects your quality of life. It's a pain that seems to seep into your joints, making every movement an effort. So, the next time you feel a nagging pain in your joints, don't just brush it off. Observe it. Note its intensity, its frequency, its duration, because understanding your pain is the first step toward getting the right treatment. If you're experiencing persistent joint pain, it might be more than just a sign of aging. It could be an early sign of arthritis. Pay attention to your body and don't ignore the signs. Seek medical advice when you feel that something's not right. It's always better to catch the condition early and manage it well. The second early sign of arthritis to look out for is swelling. Swelling in the joints is often a telltale sign that something isn't quite right. You see, our bodies are intelligent systems. When there's an injury or infection, the body responds by increasing blood flow to the area, leading to swelling. This is a protective response aimed at healing and guarding the affected area. Now when it comes to arthritis, this swelling isn't a one-time occurrence. It's repeated inflammation that can cause the joints to swell, often accompanied by warmth and redness. Typically this swelling is more pronounced in inflammatory conditions like rheumatoid arthritis, however it can also appear in degenerative conditions such as osteoarthritis, especially after extended periods of activity. The swelling might not be noticeable at first, it could be as subtle as a slight puffiness around the joint or a feeling of tightness when you move, but with time it may become more obvious, leading to visible enlargement of the joint. Here's the thing though, swelling isn't exclusive to arthritis. It could be a result of other conditions like gout or an injury. That's why it's essential to pay attention to other accompanying symptoms like joint pain or stiffness. But remember your body is trying to communicate something when it exhibits these signs, and it's crucial to listen. So if you notice unusual swelling around your joints, don't ignore it. It may be a sign of arthritis. The third early sign of arthritis you should be aware of is stiffness. Now, we've all experienced stiffness at some point like when you wake up in the morning feeling like a rusty robot. But did you know that persistent stiffness, particularly in the morning or after periods of inactivity, can be a sign of arthritis? According to an article by ADARP, arthritis can make your joints feel stiff and difficult to move. 
This isn't just the stiffness you feel after sitting in the same position for too long, it's a kind of stiffness that persists, affecting your mobility and daily activities. You might find it hard to get out of bed, or you may have trouble bending, twisting, or simply moving around. This stiffness often eases up as you move and warm up your joints, but it returns after periods of inactivity or rest. So let's say you've been sitting at your desk working on a project for a couple of hours. When you finally stand up, you feel like the tin man in need of an oil can. That's the kind of stiffness we're talking about. It's important to remember that everyone is different, and the severity and duration of stiffness can vary from person to person. But if you're regularly experiencing stiffness, especially in the morning or after periods of inactivity, it's worth paying attention to. Remember, persistent stiffness might be more than just a sign of a hard day's work. It could be arthritis. The fourth early sign of arthritis to watch out for is tenderness. Now when we say tenderness, we're talking about that sensation of discomfort or pain when you press on or around a joint. It's not a sharp stabbing pain, but rather a more subtle lingering discomfort that might make you wince. This tenderness can be quite deceptive. It might seem like a minor annoyance, perhaps you've been working too hard or simply bumped your knee on the coffee table. But if it persists, it might be a sign of something more significant. Remember, arthritis is a condition that affects over 58.5 million Americans, and it includes over 100 different joint-related conditions. Tenderness is a common symptom in many of these conditions, including both inflammatory arthritis like rheumatoid arthritis and degenerative osteoarthritis. This tenderness is often a result of inflammation in the joint which can cause the surrounding tissues to become sensitive. It can occur in any joint in the body but it's most common in the hands, knees and hips. It's also worth noting that it can occur at any age, but the risk increases as we get older. It's important to pay attention to these signs. Don't dismiss that persistent tenderness as just a minor annoyance. If you notice this kind of discomfort, it's worth taking the time to seek medical advice. Remember, early detection and management of arthritis can make a significant difference in preserving your joint health. If your joints are tender to the touch, it's time to pay attention. It could be an early sign of arthritis. There are other early signs of arthritis that you should be aware of as well. Indeed, not all symptoms of arthritis are as apparent as joint pain or swelling. Let's explore some of these subtler signs. One such sign is difficulty moving the joint. It could mean that you're starting to find it hard to perform activities that were once easy, like opening a jar or climbing stairs. This could be due to the inflammation or damage within the joint, causing it to not function as smoothly as it once did. Loss of joint function is another early sign. This is when a joint can no longer perform its normal range of movement. For instance, if you notice that you can't fully straighten your elbow or bend your knee like you used to, it might be a sign of arthritis. This loss of function is often a result of the joint inflammation or damage caused by the condition. Lastly, changes in the appearance of the joint can also be a telltale sign. This could include visible swelling, but it might also involve more subtle changes. Perhaps the joint looks slightly misshapen, or it's not as symmetrical as it once was. These changes can be due to the joint's internal structures being affected by arthritis. Each of these signs, while they might seem minor, are important indicators to pay attention to. Difficulty moving a joint, loss of joint function, and changes in the joint's appearance may not cause discomfort at first. However, they could be your body's way of signaling the onset of arthritis. These signs might seem minor, but they could be your body's way of signaling the onset of arthritis. So, what should you do if you're experiencing these signs, you might wonder? The answer is not to panic, but to take action. If you find yourself wrestling with any of the symptoms we've discussed, it's crucial to seek professional medical attention immediately. Now you might think it's just a twinge of pain or stiffness that will pass. But remember, arthritis is a condition that can sneak up on you, often starting subtly and then gradually worsening over time. Ignoring these symptoms doesn't make them go away. In fact, it could lead to more serious complications down the line. According to the Arthritis Foundation, seeking medical attention at the earliest possible stage can significantly improve the effectiveness of the treatment. The earlier the detection, the better the chances of slowing down the disease's progression. This is because arthritis, like many other conditions, is most manageable when caught in its initial stages. By consulting with a healthcare provider, you can get a proper diagnosis and start on a treatment plan tailored to your specific condition. Whether it's rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis, or one of the hundred other types, each requires a different approach to treatment. 
and the sooner this process starts, the better your prognosis can be. Your doctor will likely begin with a physical examination and may order tests such as blood work or imaging studies to confirm the diagnosis. From there they can guide you through the various treatment options, which may include medication, physical therapy, lifestyle changes, or even surgery in severe cases. So, if you're noticing regular joint pain, swelling, stiffness or tenderness, don't brush it off as just a sign of getting older, or a result of overexertion. It could be your body signaling the onset of arthritis. Therefore, it's essential to listen to your body and take these signs seriously. Remember, early detection is key, don't ignore these signs. If you're experiencing these symptoms, make that appointment today. It could make all the difference in your journey to managing arthritis effectively. We've covered a lot today, and we hope this information has been helpful. Let's quickly recap what we've learned. Arthritis, a condition that affects over 58.5 million Americans, is a leading cause of disability in the US. This joint-related condition comes in over 100 different forms, with the most common types being inflammatory arthritis like rheumatoid arthritis and degenerative osteoarthritis. The early signs are crucial to watch out for. Joint pain, swelling, stiffness and tenderness are the key symptoms that may indicate the onset of this condition. Recognizing these signs early on can make a significant difference in managing the progression and impact of arthritis on your life. We delved into each of these symptoms, discussing their implications and what they might feel like. We also touched on some additional signs that could indicate the presence of arthritis. These signs are not to be ignored. If you experience them it's important to seek medical attention promptly. Remember, this information is not intended to scare you, but to empower you. Knowledge is power, and understanding the early signs of arthritis puts you in a better position to take action, seek help, and manage your health effectively. If you found this video useful, we'd love to hear from you. Please leave a comment below, and don't forget, if you're looking to kickstart and track your fitness journey, check out our calorie and protein calculator in the description below. And before you go, thank you so much for watching our video and please make sure to subscribe to our channel. If you want to watch out for the 7 signs of type 2 diabetes watch the video on your screen next. Stay healthy everyone!